Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. It's your girl Lisa. And you're lost with me, duh dummy. Um this is my third time trying to record this video. Like I'm getting so freaking frustrated trying to record this video, but it's gonna get recorded. Um <laughs> make sure you like, subscribe, comment. Tell your auntie about me. Tell your cousin about me. Tell your grandma about me. Tell your granddad about me. Tell your coworker that you don't like about me. Just pass the word around. At least it's here. Okay. Um. So I know the last time I talked to y'all, I told y'all like I was not gonna be able to get contacts because my insurance didn't cover until the first. But I thought about Waldo, and I went and got um some contacts. Con contacts. Some contacts. I went and got some contacts through Waldo. And I remember what my last description was. And I just used that. And I got me some contacts, baby. Because who about to turn 25 and I had no contacts? Not me. <laughs> so, yeah. And then this is almost gone. Because like I said, this is my third time trying to record this. I just got to put y'all on to this. Because this is so fire. It's um the Venti Pineapple Matcha Drink. Um, I like pineapple. I like matcha. And y'all made it a drink together. So, yeah it's really good it's made with coconut milk um but yeah so um by the title you can tell this is my prom night slash first strip club experience and let me tell y'all my prom, if i went to the strip club on prom night that lets you know what type of prom night i had okay it was very very ghetto i wasn't even gonna go to prom in the first place to be 100 because um i don't come from wealth you know <laughs> hashtag poor is what you know i come from so um, I knew after like, I knew after, um, high school graduation, my mom was not going to do nothing else for me. Like I was going to have to figure it out. So I wasn't planning on doing any senior activities, going to prom, nothing, because any money I was getting for graduating, I was trying to keep that and save that and buy me a car. I had me some money until I could give me like a decent job or whatever out of high school and figure out what I'm going to do at the high school, basically, because I didn't really know what I wanted to do at the high school. Like, I, I didn't know. Like, I kind of knew, but I didn't, like, I wasn't sure. I think back then I was more responsible with, like, my money and my time than I am now. That's fucking crazy. But, yeah, I didn't know, like, what I wanted to do for real. So, um... Like I said, I was taking all that money, saving it. And my friends basically talking into like, it's senior year, you're only going to be a senior one time. Like, you're going to get a job. Like, you're going to get a job. Like, so basically, they just talked me into going. So I'm like, okay, fuck it. Last minute, I went to like the little dress store in the mall, got me a dress, got me some little sandals, some little sh heels from the mall. Like, my, like, everything was last minute for me. My stepdad, I told him, like, I'm just going to participate in senior activities. So my stepdad got me, um, I got me my class ring and like my senior suits and stuff like that. And I pay, you know, for everything else. Cause with the money that people was giving you, like my aunties, my church members and stuff like that. So, um, yeah. And then, um, my mom drove at the time, like the 08 tours and I definitely was not driving that car. So fucking prompts. I went to um, enterprise and I rented a car or whatever. So that's just prom night or whatever. Um, being 100, uh, prom actual dance was trash. Like, um, DJ, trash. Food, trash. The venue, trash. Um, but everybody, like, looked cute. I missed the fucking Grand March. Because at the time, I was dating this dude who was, like, not for me at all. Like, not for me at all. He was older than me. He low-key tried to ruin my prom night. That's why I missed Grand March. But, we're not talking. So, um, yeah, if y'all hear something biting, that's Bella trying to bite her way out the cage because she was a bad girl. So she's in the cage and she's trying to bite her way out the cage. But yeah, um, so like I said, everything was trash and, um, until someone pulls out a bottle of alcohol, like a water bottle of alcohol out of their like little purse or whatever. <laughs> nah, for real. 
Um, so after they did that, everybody just started, you know, sipping it, running in the bathroom, sipping it and shit. Um, prom started getting a little fun. Then we had like two class members that um had passed away. So we had like a little turn up at prom for them. And yeah, prom that after the alcohol started flowing, that's when mind you, we're 18. Some of them are 17 and 16, being 100. Some of them a little young. But um, yeah, after we started doing that or whatever, uh, the prom started going up, started having fun. Like it was starting getting real ratchet. And I love ratchet shit. That's why prom was so fun to me because it was ghetto as fuck. And I love ghetto ass stuff. Like I love to get out. Uh, <laughs> but yeah. Um so, my best friend went to, um, she didn't, like, she heard this dude was not dating. They was just, like, real, real cool. And he asked her to prom, so they went to prom together. And she wanted, like, we had totally two different outlooks on prom. She wanted, like, prom to be, like, lit, like, like, magical type thing. Like, so elegant. That's not what I wanted. Like, well, I'm not going to say that's what I wanted. But the strip club sounded way more fun than going downtown to eat. That's sounded way more fun. So I'm like, no, best friend, just come to just come to the strip club with us. Just come. But she didn't want to go. She had her mindset on what she wanted to do. So I just said, okay, bad bitch. Let me know when y'all make it. Let me know when y'all make it back. I'm going to get to her prom night in a minute, okay? But, um, yeah, so at the prom, because like I said, the food was stressed. I didn't eat that prom. And I don't think anybody else really ate a prom for real either, except for motherfuckers that was high. But, um, yeah. So after uh <laughs> after prom, um, people start talking about they was like people was like, Oh, we're gonna go to Hooters, then we're gonna go to the strip club, uh, we're gonna go downtown to eat, uh, we we just gonna go to the strip club and I was with the party, like, let's just go to the strip club. Like, come on. <laughs> Cause you know, I'm okay, so let's go to the strip club, let's see these bitches, okay. So, um, I'm going to be 100 at the prom. I went to McDonald's and spent maybe $4. I got me a mac chicken with mac sauce, a medium fry, and a sweet tea, um, large. Light ice. Okay? Um, and I ate that. Like, I, it, it was like my cousin, she had graduated before us, um, from another school. But she went to my high school that I graduated from. And, um, so I had one to pick her up. It was one dude from, um... My, that was lived in my neighborhood. He got in the car with me. Um, and, uh, yeah. And then I had a friend that was great under me. She was a junior. I went and go picked her. She snuck out the house. I went and go picked her up. Picked her up. I went and got her so we can go to the strip club or whatever. It was another girl that snuck out. She got caught. Like, she stole her mama car to come and she got caught. So, she took her mama car back. I went and got her. And then we we was all at the strip club. And at first, everybody was going in with their prom dresses. I'm like, I'm not going there with my prom dress. I had, like, some clothes in the back and my trunk. And, um, yeah, so I changed. I had, I had let everybody else out. And I went and parked somewhere far away, with, away from the door. And I had my cousin watch out so I could change, you know, my outfit or whatever. Put on my little shorts, my little crop top, and my blazer jacket. You know, what was it? It was a, um, a, uh, fuck, a cardigan. I always dress a little weird, okay? I, lately, I don't know why I've been into, like, this bad bitch mode, but that ain't me, me, baby, okay? I always dressed it a little bit different. It was always cute, but just different. Um, So, yeah, I was changing to that, and I still, like, had my makeup and my prom jewelry and shit on, but I just sat on this little regular ass outfit with some heels, and everybody had on their prom dresses and shit. And um, it was this dude, My he was like, uh, me and him had got, like, real, real cool, and he had, you know, some coin. He had some money or whatever. Like, his, his, you know, his daddy was one of them. Like, you all know, like a big drug dealer. So, he had a little coin. You know, he sold a little drug, too. So, um, yeah. Because she tripping. <laughs> She's, like, stretched out, like, in the cage. just tripping. But, um, yeah. So, he gave, like, the, his prom day, my friend, and then, like, two other people, uh, me and another person, I said to other people, my prom day, his prom day, my friend, and another girl, and me, some money to, like, you know, have fun with a strip club. It wasn't much, but, you know, it was decent, you know, for 2014. It was decent. Um, 
So yeah, I started, it was this one girl. She was just so fucking pretty to me. Like She was just so pretty. And I thank God, like I'm not a nigga because I'd have been one of them niggas like, you don't have to do this. Let me, let me take you out of here. Let me save you with my broke ass. But um, to be honest, the strip club is how I got on the finesse game because them bitches is like, <laughs> like they got they quaints. Like, okay. <laughs> about that coin and um yeah well it was one girl she was just so pretty to me she had a nice body she was like she was like a caramel chocolate color like she was just so pretty to me and um i'm not gonna lie i hit her with the dj in in the strip club yes i did she was giving me a lap dance my friend that had the little coin he paid for her to give me a lap dance because i was at the stage throwing money on her and then after she got down she came you know you know to see what's up <laughs> And um, yeah, why he paid? He paid for my lap dance for her, and I gave the little DJ a strip club, like, yay. And um, yeah, I just had, and I'm I left out like by this point, like, cause I said somebody had brought out the little bottle of um alcohol. There was more alcohol during the course, you know, like by the time I got to McDonald's, I was probably already drunk. By the time I got to um, the strip clubs, I was drunk as the fuck. <laughs> like, it was like, I think somebody had some rock. Somebody had some Smirnoff. Somebody had some, um, Grey Goose. Some, I think it was some Hennessy. Like, I didn't, and I didn't have all this liquor. Like, I ain't paid for shit. But I didn't have all this liquor. So, at this point, I'm drunk than the fuck. Driving this rental at 18. It ain't even in my name. Like, I'm drunk as the fuck at this point. And, um, yeah, so we go to the strip club. And I just had a blast. I'm just... If you if you have never been to strip club, go. It's it's fun. Like that environment is different. It's a different ass environment. Like people be free and it's <laughs> like so walk around with your titties out is a different level of free in front of strangers. That's a different level of free. Now me personally, I would not do it. It has nothing to do with morals or values. But that's that's just not my character. Like I have I don't talk down on nobody else doing it, but me personally, that's just not my character. Like I I'm too goofy for that. I'll be walking around that bitch like, <laughs> like, but I love the strip club. Not for me though, but I love the strip club. I love going to the strip club. Um, but yeah, and like I said, I was 18 at the time, so we went to like a hole in the wall strip club, like a little local ass strip club that was like. It was probably as big as this room is right now. Like, the strip club was little as shit. I'm over-exaggerating. But the strip club was little as shit. Most strip cl clubs are actually little as shit. Like, when I went to Magic City, I thought, when I went to Atlanta, I went to Magic City, I thought, like, from the videos, from Travis Porter videos, I thought Magic City was huge. No, that shit is like a closet. Okay? So, I figured out from the, oh, the biggest strip club, I think, what is it called? Red? No, it's, it's in Houston. I can't think of the fucking name of it. It's a big strip club in Houston. That was the biggest strip club I've ever been in, and it had levels. But, like I said, like, the only time I've been out of town and have not been to the strip club is when me and Nietzsche went to Vegas and when we went to Orlando. And then we went to, a, like, a showgirl show in Vegas. So, I'm not even going to say. I didn't see, like, no actual ass and titties, but... Every time I go out of town, I want to go to a strip club because I like the experience of a strip club. Like, and then where I live, it's so crazy. I've never been to the strip club out here where I live currently. I would go, but I just don't. Me and me and Nisha, like, we don't really go outside like that. Like, we go outside, but we don't go to like club events or club things like that. And that's just because my personal paranoia. The last time I went out, like on like some real club and shit, I went to jail for fighting. So it is like. Once shit happened like that, I'd be having PS PTSD, low-key. Like, after some shit like that happened, I'd be nervous. Like, we have went back, and then we, the first time I went back to that same club where I fought it, I was, like, just so, like, please don't let me see nobody I don't like. Please don't let me see nobody I don't like. <laughs> like, I'm just nervous. And it took me a while to go back to there, but I think me and her, we gonna start going back, going out and sad shit, because, bitch, we finna have fun. Like, what did you talking about? We gonna have fun. Well, I'm capping because she just started school and she go to school at night. So we probably not <laughs> gonna go nowhere until like she graduated until I graduated or whatever. But anywho, that's neither here nor there. Um, but yeah, I just fell in love with the strip club that night. And um I, I think the funniest part about that night was my gay ass DJ and the little stripper. 
And then after the strip club, like I was so drunk, I ran into a fucking garbage can. Like, you know, the big steel ones, I ran into one. And everybody kept saying, like, no, you drunk. Like, let me drive. You drunk. Let me drive. I'm like, no, this, this is a my mama name. I'm going to drive. Like, and I uh, blew the tail light out. <laughs> and then, um, this has nothing to do with the strip club, but this is just about, like I said, this prom night slash my first um, strip club experience. Um, after we went, we went to a hotel and we started drinking more. We had, like, a drink contest to see who I like, could drink the most. We uh was drunk at this point, and then, like, like everybody, I guess we like drank till we passed out, and then I woke up the next morning. It's some shit that went down on prom night, but I'm not gonna talk about that. If you went to high school with me and you went to prom night with me and we hung out, you know what the fuck went down, but we're not gonna talk about it. <laughs> and um, I had a friend, like, well, she wasn't really my friend, but she was like an associate, and I just told her, like, when we done here, I'll take you home or whatever. I couldn't find her in the morning, and I took a picture of the room, but everybody knocked the fuck out. And then after I went home, went to sleep, and woke up, the bitch was in the picture. But guess where the bitch was? Under the fucking bed. Hi. What was you? <laughs> and I ended up calling her like, bitch, you still there? I thought you had level after me. I'm not come get you. But she's like, no, nah, it's cool. So it's going to go take me on, bitch. Because I cannot find her. And I knew I had to get back home because, first of all, I was not going to stay outside all that time. Okay? Like, I still live with my mom. Like, I had curfew. But, I mean, it was probably nice so I had a little fun. But I heard her mouth when I got home. But it's okay. And, um, yeah, after that, I, like I said, I just fell in love with the strip club. Like, me and my friends, we called ourselves the Turn Up Crew. Because after uh, we graduated, baby, <laughs> we was in the streets. Okay? We was having fun. And, um, every chance we get, like, it was it, whatever was going on, strip club. Strip club. It, then we wasn't. We wasn't, you know, old enough to go to any normal strip club. So, we was always at this same strip club, like, every time. Um, and one of my friends ended up stripping. Um, she don't strip right now, but she she ended up stripping or whatever. Um, so, yeah, we just I just fell in love with the strip club. Like, I love the strip club. It's not for me personally, but I will, I love going to the strip club. Like, I love the strip club. That's, it's, it's fun there. If you've never been, go to the strip club. And if you like ratchet shit and, and you watching my channel and you in high school and it's your senior year, go to the strip club at the prom. Be bougie. Be bougie in college. Have fun in high school because if you, if you go to jail, it's not going to be on your record. Okay? <laughs> no, it probably will be on your record, but you know you get expunged. Have fun on prom night. Be safe. Drink responsibly, even though you're not supposed to drink. So don't drink. Let me say that. Don't drink. Not even drink responsibly. Don't drink. Have fun. Be safe. And if you got a ratchet strip club in your city, go to it and have fun. Oh, I was about to end the video. Let me tell y'all about my best friend. My best fucking best friend, she called me at like, like, what time was it when I woke up after I dropped? I left the hotel at like 5 o'clock in the morning. I woke up at like 10 o'clock. She called, she blew on my phone up asking me to come get her. They lost the car and was stuck downtown Chicago. Lost the car and was stuck downtown Chicago. And, um, yeah. She was, she, she, by the time I called her back, she was at home, though. But, like, I was drunk, passed out, like, on some drunk hangover shit. And, yeah. That was just my prom night and my first time going to strip club. And my love from the strip club began from 2014 to now. Um, yeah, I'm just going to end the video here because at this point, it's really not much to talk about. <laughs> Bye.